currently packing for florida this is the start of the vlog and I, I literally look horrible which isn't smart to be filming with the way i'm feeling looking back at what i'm seeing even though like at the same time i'm like shut up there's so many bad things happening in this world like i'm feeling like utter poop about myself basically i'm going to florida seeing my cousin it's gonna be a very nice escape and I'm just really itching for this vacation. I'm a summer girl through and through and winter really like when it gets dark out, when it gets colder out towards like late October, early November, my mood, my happiness goes so south. It's not even funny. Like you can catch me on my couch staring straight ahead, unable to get myself out of a mood, which now I'm thinking, now I'm like speculating, should I go see someone and see what's up? Because maybe that's not normal. I just need that sunshine. I need that summer feeling. Next time you see me will probably be on the airplane. I'm in Florida. Here we are. Gonna have some pizza and we're waking up early tomorrow to Universal. So it'll probably cut to that. Coaster ride, and we only made it to the Hulk ride, and then Jurassic Water ride got closed. But we got two fast passes, but we can't use it on this ride, so it's like whatever. We just got back from Universal like a second ago and we're at a Wawa and she turned off her music which was As It Was by Harry Styles and immediately the gas station is playing the same song, the same sentence. Shooketh! Oh that frizz! Oh it's like a crowd of thorns! We as a team did 11 and a half hours of Universal Studios, I don't know why I almost said Jurassic Park. Oh there's my arm. Hi. <laughs> we look, I don't know. Um, speak for yourself. So, mm, as you saw in the clips before, we went to university yesterday and it was a lot of fun. The only sad part is two things, magic, no, no, Hagrid's, as you can tell I've never seen the movie, movies, Hagrid's magical motorbike that looked so sick was closed for maintenance for like this month and I was like, ah! Awesome. And then we were in line for the Jurassic Park River ride, a ride that I've wanted to ride since I was a 12 year old. I'm obsessed with those movies. And then as we're about to be the next ones to go up to like the little line queues to then get in, it got delayed. And then it kept getting delayed. And then about 45 minutes later, because we're like, let's just wait out. You never know, maybe an hour later, they were like, okay, it's kind of indefinite. We're closing the ride right now. Not sure when it's gonna be up. And as we're leaving, we got a fast pass, but the guy like gave my cousin two and me one, and I was like, oh, and I didn't know what to do. And he's like, oh, you need another one too, right? Like kind of sarcastically. So he like gave us two, which was cool because we used it on one of the Harry Potter rides. Actually, I think we used it on both of the Harry Potter rides because you couldn't use it on Velociraptor, but we did end up going on Velociraptor twice. But I wanna come in January of next year as like a little Florida mini vacay for my 29th birthday, because what a way to celebrate my 29th birthday. Because one, I'll be with my cousin, two, I'll be in Florida, a state which I love to visit because I think it's so much, so pretty and fun and palm trees. And my birthday's in January and I hate winter. 
and typically I don't celebrate my birthday the way I want to. Friends usually like either can't hang out or they like end up changing the plans that I want to do on me. Oh, he's so pretty. What? Uh huh. Oh, sweet baby girl. We are in Tarpon Springs and I'm excited and I'm bringing my big camera to take some pictures. Oh, I gotta go. The doctor uses a rake that is five inches across. That way he can tell at a glance if the sponge is ready for harvesting. you don't worry I give that 09 reveal whenever you're ready exactly oh my god it's perfect that felt like it was 2009 perhaps they're bras oh I wish I grab one <laughs> oh this is like a mood for the winter when they do the little little love affair <laughs> Ground St. Pete. It's a really cool, immersive, like neon museum in St. Petersburg, and it's really cool. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so weird. This is by far the coolest place I've ever been to. I'm gonna swing. Aww, I feel like a kid again. This, I feel free. I wanna get off soon so you can have a chance. But I could literally swing for hours. <laughs> Sunday. We don't have to breakfast, but we're going to downtown St. Pete, and I believe prior to that, a Whedon Island Preserve, because they have an observation tower, and I'm just dressed like this in these shoes. You can't see them. Oh my god, let me just do this in these shoes, but I really think I should change it to my sneakers. I got these cute rings yesterday, though. This one is my favorite. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. 
we have the kick. Oh my goodness, sweetie. So big. I'm gonna be in the bathroom after this. I'm gonna take a sunset dip. Down. It's my last day here and they were gonna get smoothies and go to the beach and dinner tonight and then I cry myself to sleep tonight. I go back to snow. No, it's gonna be snowing and hopefully my flight doesn't get canceled, but Wednesday, March 1st, I got back yesterday afternoon from Florida. I went from 80 degrees to 34, 40 in this. This trip was so needed. Really refreshed me, I felt amazing. Granted, I would never wanna to move to Florida. I do love the beaches and I love there, but I think I would need somewhere close enough where I can go hike mountains. So like in my opinion, I'm like, North Carolina is kind of a vibe. Specifically San Diego, California, kind of my vibe. And I think if I stay in my state, which is Connecticut, I need to move to the shore. Like I need to be a 20 minute or so drive from the beach, if not somehow walk. And that's expensive. The state's already expensive to live in. And obviously San Diego would be way more expensive because California is more expensive. But this trip just made me realize what I want out of life, the, the choices to live based on what I want out of life as a career. And I just, I don't know if this state serves me. I really never felt like I really belong spiritually in the state I live in, in the area I live in. I felt like this trip really opened my eyes to what I want out of life, what serves me, what makes me happy. And I think where I am, especially winter, has such a negative impact on me. I already have negative thoughts about myself that I try to tackle. In the winter season makes it worse because it's so dark. It's it just it mentally isn't right for me. I'm really grateful for this trip. It just really opened my eyes to what I want in life and I've realized I feel stuck where I am and I need to allow myself to weigh my options and really pursue my dreams and then see where that leads me and where it could be best to live based on those dreams. That's kind of where I wanted to end this. So that's pretty much the vlog. That was Florida. Can't wait to see it again in January and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.